Hi, my name is Christina Thompson. I'll be guiding you in a printmaking activity inspired by a very famous Canadian artist. David Milne is famous for his landscapes. He loved using simple lines and leaving space for those lines to shine. He called the spaces dazzle areas. His lines here are soft and dreamy. Are your eyes dazzled by the rolling hills and fluffy trees? Look at how the green is hugged by the blue and the red. We're going to use styrofoam to do some printmaking today. Maybe you have some takeout containers or some plates and it's really soft and easy to draw into. You need your styrofoam, a sharp pencil, paint brushes, paint, scissors, and lots of paper. Carefully cut your styrofoam trays and containers into flat pieces. Trace your styrofoam on paper and practice your lines first. It's time to draw into your styrofoam. I'm not really drawing this fast. I was actually drawing nice and slowly like this, taking my time and making sure I was pressing into the styrofoam to create a good impression. Thick paint works best for printmaking. Brush it on so that the paint doesn't go into your lines. You want to just have it be on the surface. Lay your paper on top and press down. Don't let the paper slip and then peel it off. Maybe you want to put your lines and shapes together to create things you see in the landscape around you, just like David Milne. Maybe trees or houses, maybe animals, maybe birds. Your brush strokes will transfer on your print, so make them expressive and have fun mixing colors and seeing how they blend. Notice the numbers on David Milne's print, 5 and 50. That means this is the fifth print of 50. Thank you for joining me with Art for Tots. We went from sketching out our designs to drawing into our plate to printing our edition. Please don't forget to sign and number and date your prints. See you next week.